Verberg began his Olympic career right here on the track at EC Glass High School in Lynchburg. His former teammates say they always knew he'd go far. Former track teammate Lakeem Kennedy says David Verberg's talent was clear as soon as he came to EC Glass High School. We had time trials. We ran the 100 and the 200, and it got to a point where we started off in the 200. Everybody knew that David was going to win, so everybody after him was fighting for second place, not even first place anymore. But Kennedy says it was his uncle, Rodney Smith, EC Glass's head track coach, that helped Verberg find his true calling. He wanted to run the 100 and the 200, and my uncle um, seen something in him that he didn't see in himself and wanted to run the 400. And I made the suggestion that he tried the 400, and he was a team player and said, I'll do whatever the team needs. Tried the 400, and it done worked out well for him. Well enough to take Verberg to states while at EC Glass and set the school 400-meter record at 47.15 seconds. Smith says he told Verberg to keep it up. And when he left here, high school, he wanted to be an Olympic athlete. At that point, we didn't know if he would make it, but I told him, follow your dreams, see how far they carry you. His hard work pays, is paying off for him now. From there, Verberg got a full track scholarship to George Mason, won the United States Track and Field Championship in 2015, and is now competing in the Olympic Games in Rio this summer. Former teammate Matthew Smith says it has his city excited. We we're, we're definitely take pride in it. Um, you can see all around the school, people are, are saying, David, we're proud of you. Um, you see on Facebook and things like that, everybody's saying, oh, this is the guy from Lynchburg. Kennedy says whether or not his friend brings home a medal, Verberg's success has inspired him and dozens of others currently in the track program. It's just a story you can tell anybody that if you work hard to get to where you want to be, I think you can definitely get to where you want to be. All of Verberg's former teammates and his former coach will be watching anxiously as he takes the field for the track and field events when they kick off on Friday, August 12th. In Lynchburg, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.